Primarily, I decided to start using a hat cam because I wanted to be able to show people what I was seeing on the water. Um, not only just the great fishing action, but a lot of the nature, um, a lot of the sunrises, sunset, moonrises, some of the things that I would find myself telling friends and family about when I'd come off the water. And, you know, this gave me a way to, to be able to show them. Um, you know, with, with my background in video production, I knew it was something that was possible and I was kind of aiming to be one of the first people to actually do something like that, to come out with the video using only this type of technology and to show other people that it's very possible, whether it's a full-blown video production or even just videos that you're going to share for friends and family on YouTube, any of the social media sites, uh, or just, you know, you can literally email them. I've been pretty happy with the with the bill of my cap. We've mounted them on top of poles to kind of get a, a larger, wider angle perspective. You can get multiple anglers in there. Um, I've seen people mount them on nets. Um, all sorts of different applications. You can really mount them about anywhere. Oh yeah, me too. I read it better. For my personal use, what I'm trying to capture, the, the point of view, basically trying to get as close to exactly what I'm seeing, I've been pretty happy with the, the you know, the brim of my cap. Did you learn to kind of fish with your head held steady? <laughs> That's, you know, musky fishing, actually you want to, you know, you, you're always watching your lure a fair amount anyway. Right. But especially as you saw in the video. Alright, maybe I'm filming, maybe I'm not. It beeps, so I think I am. Yeah, I might. Oh, nope, we got him. 